Thank you for clicking on that play button and out of the 300 hours of YouTube videos that are uploaded every single minute, you selected this video out of literally millions of videos that are up on YouTube. So I so appreciate your selecting this video. So now back to why we're here today. I wanna to share with you how I quit sugar in three days. That was it, just three days it took for me to quit sugar. And this started in October 2017 when I went on a health reset and it was at the Santa Cruz Island Scorpion right off the coast of Ventura, one of the Channel Islands here in California. And that health reset was conducted by Cityfied Energetics. And in that three-day health reset, it was a small group. It was the leader of the group, of course. And I was there with a bodybuilder and she also brought her daughter who was a gymnast. And the objective was to get off of sugar. And it was really quite fascinating because I've had this love affair with sugar my entire life. Uh, I'm the type of girl who basically, you know, I love my chocolate, which a lot of girls love chocolate. I love my sugar. I don't really gain weight easily. I don't get pimples and blackheads and all sorts of other skin issues. So there's real no reason to not eat the chocolate or eat the candy because I don't have that kind of negative consequence. The only thing I have to worry about is really my teeth. And as you can see, they're, they're, they're pretty much okay. So the bottom line is this, you know, my senior year in high school was the very first time I, I, I quit eating sugar, my senior year, and that lasted for about a year. And I only did it because I've always been very health conscious and very aware of nutrition and well-being. And I knew that it wasn't good for me to be eating the volume of sugar that I was taking in. So I quit it for a year, but inevitably my freshman year in college while I was at SC, of course, Halloween came, biggest candy celebration of the year, really. And then that's that slippery slope with Halloween, then came Thanksgiving, then Christmas and all the Christmas parties that you go to and forget it. Then, then I really didn't try again for, for the rest of my college career. I really didn't even think about it again, probably until I was in my 20s. So the long story short is uh, I've on and off have tried several times. The last time I think I tried to quit sugar was back in 2013. Uh, someone that I was writing a script with, uh, he had gotten off of sugar. He was a, one of my SC alumni friends that I went to college with. And I noticed that when we were doing our Zoom calls, all of a sudden he was more energetic. He seemed to be more chiseled. He was in New York when we were doing Zoom calls, doing our writing several times a week and I'm like wow what's changed you know chick and he basically told me he got off of sugar and shared with me all the positive effects of it and I thought wow I'm really feeling convicted I really need to do this and so I did it then and of course it only lasted for less than a year and my slippery slope is obviously the holidays so that's my pattern so but not this time this time uh, October October of 2017 I actually went on this health reset and I didn't play games with my mind thinking, oh, it's not gonna work this time, or I'm only gonna do it for you know a short period and then I'm gonna fall off the bandwagon again. I just kinda let go of all those things and I was just open to what it was that I was gonna experience and learn on this trip. Fantastic health reset, by the way. So lo and behold, um, I, I learned about sh natural sugars that are actually good for you that have low glycemic indexes, things like coconut nectar sugar, like agave sugar, and um, it was really quite eye-opening because one of the things, you know, one of the high sugar content items that I was taking in was coffee, specifically Starbucks, even though I, don't, I didn't drink Starbucks every day, but I would have it, you know, once a week, maybe twice a week, and then I would make my own at home, of course, which was, and, I, and of course I justified I was using raw natural cane sugar. It's still cane sugar. So it was still not very good for your body because as you may or may not know, sugar, when you take in any form of sugar, it increases the acidity in your body, which acidity produces inflammation in the body. And inflammation is the first, one of the first things that um, is the onset of pretty much any disease. Wherever you have, whatever the leakest, we leakest wink, leak, weakest link <laughs> in your body is, that is the organ or the place where you're gonna have an issue or a problem. So I was aware that, you know, taking in that much sugar, because I was having ice cream every night, 
I was, of course, having my Starbucks once or twice a week. I was, of course, eating Nestle's Crunch Bars, Kit Kats, um, Chocolate Kisses, Hershey Bars. You get the drift. During the winter, of course, I also had hot chocolate. And I, did I mention I was having ice cream every night? That was something that ever since I was a kid, I was the designated ice cream server at my home for my two younger brothers and myself. I would, you know, heat up the chocolate fudge on the stove, pour it on the couple scoops of ice cream, chocolate chip, cookie dough, vanilla, what have you, and then serve it for everyone. And then that was after dinner every night. So this is a long standing thing. Even raising my kids, my kids have always known that, you know, first of all, we always had two, three, four different flavors in the fridge, half gallons. And heaven forbid that we should run out of chocolate chip or chocolate malted crunch or any one of them. That's like running out of milk, running out of eggs, running out of bread, running out of rice, running out of pasta. It's a staple. It's like you, we can't be without that. So this is, the, the, you know, that sugar addiction was pretty deeply entrenched. So this is not to be taken lightly. It's what gives me empathy to people who are addicted to alcohol or drugs or shopping or whatever the case may be. It's because I understand my thing with sugar it has been the same. So long story short, I go on this health reset thing and one of the things that the that they uh, taught us or he taught us was the health ninja teas. And the health ninja teas are made in a ninja blender. But the neat thing is that um, they, in order to make it creamy and you have all sorts of other health benefits too, they would make the tea using coconut oil, a couple tablespoons of coconut oil and maple, maple syrup, grade B maple syrup, which is organic which is very high in vitamin B and has all sorts of other nutritional um, benefits as well. And I never knew that maple syrup even had a nutritional benefit until this. So that was very surprising as well. Coconut oil, of course, is an anti-inflammatory, antiviral, antimicrobicidal, and has a lot of incredible benefits for your body and your brain too. And so these are some of the ingredients. I'll, if you look in the description below, you'll see the how to make a green matcha green matcha ninja latte, which is superb, not only in taste, but it really is satisfying and nourishing of your body and has lots of health benefits. It's very, very popular, obviously, in Japan, which longevity is one of the key uh, factors that we see in the Japanese is that they live into their 90s and 100, 100 and something years of age. So the bottom line was that, that, that I went on this three-day health reset and it's day one. Day one wasn't really difficult to, in my, for myself. And I just remember I had brought with me, um, in lieu of a candy bar, I had been advised to eat some sort of health bar that you can get at Whole Foods, which was much better for you. And it, was, it tasted kind of like a candy bar, but it's a protein bar and it had a lot less sugar and it had the good sugar instead of the bad refined sugar. So I ended up doing this health reset and it was funny because the second night, I'll never forget, it was about 9 p.m. at night. We had already had dinner. Everybody had pretty much turned into their tents. I was reading a book in, in my tent and I kind of just forgot that I was, that the purpose of this health, health reset was to quit sugar. And so I find myself looking in my backpack, you know, looking for a sugar substitute or something with sugar in it and I mentioned something to my boyfriend and he said I thought you were you're here to quit sugar and I'm like oh my gosh you're right you're right I'm like that's why I couldn't find it in my, my bag I was thinking as he said that I'm like yeah that's right God's trying to keep me from the sugar because that's what I'm there for is to quit sugar so I immediately abandoned my search for the sugar the sugary item that I must have I thought I had in there and I just let it go, and then that was it. And then the next day, we went about our business. We ate the meals. We had specially formulated meals, you know, specifically designed for our body and whatever health issue you may or may have, or basically to optimize your health and well being. And, uh, and then the third day came and went, and, and um, 